German Chancellor Olaf Scholz confirms Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stole 24% of Invictus funds in Dusseldorf asterisk asterisk. The royal scandal of the decade has just taken a dramatic turn, as German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has come forward with a bombshell revelation. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle allegedly stole a staggering 24% of the funds intended for the Invictus Games held in Dusseldorf last year. In a press conference earlier today, Chancellor Scholz solemnly addressed the media stating that an extensive investigation by German financial authorities has uncovered concrete evidence of financial impropriety by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It is with great regret that I must inform the public of this troubling discovery, Scholz stated. The Invictus Games are meant to be a celebration of the sacrifices and resilience of wounded, injured, and sick servicemen and women. For those in positions of leadership to abuse that noble purpose for their own financial gain is nothing short of despicable. According to the findings, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, who served as the driving force behind the 2022 Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, covertly siphoned off an estimated 24% of the event's total funds, equating to over 3.7 million euros. This money, intended to support wounded veterans and their families, was allegedly diverted into a private account controlled by the couple. The evidence we have uncovered is irrefutable, Scholz continued. Bank records, wire transfers, and forensic accounting all point to a deliberate and calculated scheme by the Duke and Duchess to embezzle charitable donations for their own personal enrichment. The scandal has sent shockwaves through the international community, with many expressing outrage and disbelief at the actions of the high-profile royals. Veterans' organizations and military support groups have been particularly vocal in their condemnation, accusing Harry and Meghan of betraying the very people they claim to champion. This is a devastating blow, not just for the Invictus Games, but for the entire veteran community, said retired Brigadier General Hans Mahler. These funds were meant to provide critical support and resources for those who have sacrificed so much in service of their countries. For them to be stolen in this manner is a profound act of betrayal. Representatives for the Duke and Duchess have yet to issue a formal response to the allegations, but royal insiders suggest the couple is scrambling to mount a defense. They are absolutely livid and are pulling out all the stops to try and discredit the German government's findings, said one source close to the couple. But the evidence is simply too overwhelming. They know their goose is cooked. The fallout from this scandal is likely to be swift and severe. German authorities have indicated that criminal charges are being prepared, and there are growing calls for the couple to be stripped of their royal titles and face extradition to stand trial. Additionally, many of the Invictus Games' corporate sponsors have threatened to withdraw their support, jeopardizing the future of the event. This is a dark day for the Invictus Games and for the broader military community, Scholz concluded but we will not allow the actions of a few to tarnish the spirit of this important institution. We will work tirelessly to recover the stolen funds and ensure that they are returned to their rightful recipients, the brave men and women who have sacrificed so much for their countries. As the world watches this unfolding saga with bated breath, one thing is clear. The reputation and legacy of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may never recover from this scandal. The once beloved royals now face the very real prospect of criminal prosecution and the total collapse of their public image. The true victims, however, are the wounded veterans who will now be deprived of the critical support the Invictus Games were meant to provide.